Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Uh, today I'm actually going to be talking about something that's a little bit off the chart of what I usually do talk about, uh, which is actually going to be my thoughts on the chaos theory. Now for those of you out there who don't, who come across this video and don't know what the chaos theory is, uh, it has more to do with like time and space and like if you were to alter with it it would completely um like you alter one tiny thing and it'll alter pretty much everything uh creating as the name itself states chaos in the timelines being presented now what got a little bit of a backstory of what got me into wanting to kind of make a video about this in the first place is one I just finished playing the video game Life is Strange for the bajillionth time, and two, it actually leads on to something I wanted to talk about um, anyway, which was actually going to be the video I was originally going to do for today, which is the inevitable. Um, <clears throat> so let's just say this is kind of a mix of chaos theory and the inevitable. That being said, let's go in and get into it. So. I first heard of the chaos theory when I was, um, I think it was about two years before, uh, the game Life is Strange came out, which kind of bound around that, the whole butterfly effect thing, except you could actually change something if you made a decision you didn't want to keep. Um, but the chaos theory kind of binds around that, and when I think about the chaos theory, it makes me think think like what if it was possible to change like people always ask the question what would you change if you could change an event of your past what would it be my okay I don't know if you guys heard that but my roommate just belched and ew but anyway um my answer to that question of what would you change? My answer would be nothing. Because of one little teeny tiny detail that's involved within the chaos theory. In short, the detail is basically you get a life for a life. In other words, say the event that I needed to change was... I don't know, I lied about something and it impacted an event in a very drastic way and I wanted to change that. Well, the event that got impacted, lie or not, probably would have been impacted anyway. So, it, it would have been done in a completely different way that could or could not be worse. It's kind of a roll of a dice, but... The chaos theory kind of, it makes me think, well, are you really willing to risk, like, I don't know, say, um, I don't know, say your best friend died a week ago to, um, I don't know, somebody giving them, like, the of uh, an overdose, like, because they were doing drugs or something, I don't know. Hypothetical, I'm not saying it actually happened. First of all, because I don't know your best friend. I don't know you. Well, I might know you, but if I know you, I probably don't know your best friend. <laughs> but anyway, um, say that your best friend did die of an overdose. And you wanted to go back to warn them that they, if they did that, um, <clears throat> that they would die from it. And say they're hypothetically they're afraid of death, so they don't do it. That just means that you preventing that, you prevented their death, but somebody else in the world inevitably dies in place of that person. That's kind of how the chaos theory works. And now that I've kind of thrown that out there, I think it, I've always thought it to be a very interesting theory in general. I like the concept that it comes from. I can see, like... It's been shown in pretty much anything that has to do with time and space. Um, Back to the Future, for example. One thing happens, and if it's acted in one way, 
completely different results come out of it, but there are some things that are just impossible to avoid. That being said, it kind of does get me along the lines of all the whole situation of, like, the inevitable. Um, I do and have always believed in the inevitable. A uh, good, really, really good example of this is that uh, my Silver, my current girlfriend, um, and hopefully forever at this point, especially with the rate we're going at, I'm not going to go too much into detail about that right now, uh, but she and I met 10 years ago. <laughs> um, I'm not going to the exact, it wasn't exactly 10 years ago, but I'm just being average. Um, but about six years ago, um, I up front admitted that I loved her. But complications made it extremely difficult. We were together for a little bit, uh, but then something happened on her end that made it impossible to communicate with her. And, well, the relationship basically, by force of nature, broke up broke off, but at this point in time, I was actually different states from her. I was living in a completely different state. Arizona, she was living where I am, am now, Utah. But five years later, I moved back, uh, and I mean, look where we are now. She is with me again, honestly. This is a prime example, of, for me at least, what I think is just the inevitable. I feel like her and I being together would have been inevitable one way or the other. Now, this is one good example. Another good example of the inevitable, for some people at least, is, well, death. And it was an example I used earlier as well. Kind of a horrible example to use, but one way or the other, you can't, there's just some things you can't avoid. Death is obviously one of them. Point in time might change, but... It happens anyway. That's kind of why I think the whole chaos theory thing is just like... I mean, you could toy with time, but is it worth it? It depends on what the inevitable aspect is. For me, um, there are certain personal life inevitabilities. For me, it seems like my inevitability is to continuously be working at fast food restaurants that have really crappy managers. Um, now, the reason I say this is because that's like the, the only time I've never had that kind of job was my first job over in Arizona, which I can't work anymore because again, I don't live in Arizona. So. <laughs> but past that, I've always had uh, jobs that don't treat me well in any kind of way. Like, there are always jobs that have those crap managers every now and then. The ones I'm referring to, almost all of the managers are crap. Doesn't make it worth it. Um, but, yeah, I think that's just an inevitable for me. Like, I'll always have a job where I have to deal with a lot of bull. But, I don't know. But I do ha I do and have always believed in the inevitable. And this even in it even comes down to this belief, even including like um, really important future decisions, like what's my career gonna be like? Who am I going to be with for the rest of my life family wise? How many kids am I gonna have? All this kind of stuff. You might plan something. I think it just kinda drives from the same thing where it's like you plan something but it's already what you end up with, I just kind of feel is inevitable. This will be discussed in a different video because this drags on into a different topic uh, that is um, kind of around the same thing, inevitability, um, but it's slightly different. But I'm going to save that for a different video um, for another day. If you guys do agree with what I have said or you have any thoughts of your own in regards to the chaos theory and or inevitability, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to check out any other discussions and rants I've done in the past, or I might be doing now depending on when you're seeing this video, that'll be up over here. 
if you want to check out some game footage that I've done, um, then that link will be on the other side over here. In the meantime, I'm out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.